Hello everyone, welcome to Train Sim World 3. We're here on Southeastern High Speed here at Rochester Station. We're currently awaiting the class 4659. This is the empty evening scenario here. We're just going to do a few quick stops and then we're going to call it a night and head over to Dillingham Depot. Alright, here's our train pulling in now. Wonderful train, class 4659. Uh, I actually saw a video the other day of one of these things catching on fire. It was quite disturbing. You know, I always think about what I'd do myself in a scenario like that, and I'm not really sure. A lot of panic, I'm sure. Get the HUD back on. Hop in here. Um, I was having... I was having a little bit of an issue with the... Uh, vigilance last time I played this I believe I turned it on while I was already sitting down and it did not like that it's giving me a hard time all right set that let's go neutral there we go you can shut that turn off the cab light we don't need that on forward Reset the DRA. Let's get an exterior view here. Always wondered what this is. It looks like an abandoned platform. I'm not really sure. Let's acknowledge that. As I'm recording this, it's the day of the Dovetail Games Festival of Rail Summit. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. There's going to be some new announcements on routes and such, I believe. There were some leaks. And um, looks like we're going to see a release date for the Amtrak Excel Express add-on for the Boston Sprinter route and I'm really looking forward to that. Boston Sprinter is one of my favorites as well as well as Southeastern High Speed. It's both very great fast-paced routes and I'm really glad they updated Boston Sprinter and added some new uh, some of the new features here on Train Sim World 3. Going to be interested to see what the price is of that add-on as well, because I know uh, they upped the regular DLC price to about 40 bucks uh, from the 30 it was in the past, and they haven't really released a, a loco add-on yet. They did do the um, I don't remember what they're called. I think it was just the expansion pack, the those three locos, the disp disp dispo lock. I think that's how you say it. The Santa Fe F7 and uh, the Railhead Treatment Train. I do not have any of those, but I believe they're about five dollars each. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they do for uh, an a actual. Oh, I gotta turn the marker lights off. It's gonna actually really annoy me. What they do for an actual whole train? Because the only one that's a whole train is the Railhead Treatment Train, and then the others are kind of just the locomotive. So, right on time. Shut the doors here. All right, we're good to go. Let's crack open the window. If I can get to it, there we go. Excellent audio on this train. Sounds very nice. It's very similar to the, uh, I believe, the Class 323 for Birmingham Cross City. I believe that's what it's called. I could be wrong. All the classes screw me up. They all sound so similar. 
But I, I guess it's easier to remember than the crazy American freight names. Those are so long. A bunch of letters. ECS560, all that stuff. The only one I can remember off the top of my head is the F40. Pick up speed here. that. Gonna have to watch that red signal coming up. And we'll begin to break. Tunnels are much more enjoyable with the new lighting features compared to Train Sim World 2. It's a big upgrade. Not sure why the message board isn't working. It's alright though, I believe this is the last station and then we'll head over to the depot. There we go. Not sure if that's intentional or not, but as soon as it seems that we come to a complete stop, the signal changes. Happens all the time, I don't know. Like if that's... Just a coincidence, or if that's an, if we actually we'll take a look at the map. All right, it's just 15. Let's slow down here. If we go up here, yeah, it doesn't even seem like there was a train there, so it must just be a coincidence. Pulling into Gillingham now. Very quiet this evening. Alright, we'll close the doors now. We have about 20 seconds until it's going to let us go. Like I said, not much going on here tonight. That's for sure. Your passenger duties are now complete. Lock the doors and prepare to run. ECS into Gillingham Depot. Sounds good to me. Alright, we're just going to pull up to the signal here. Gillingham Depot consists of manual junctions. These will need to be set correctly before entering the depot. So I've had an issue with that. Uh, there's been some derailments for whatever reason. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or what. We'll find out. If, if it happens again, I am going to probably say it's a glitch because that'll be the third time in a row that that's happened. I have completed this scenario before um, without incident. I'm, I really like this scenario because it's so quiet compared to like the usual uh, busyness of southeastern high speed and all the other commuter routes. So we'll come to a stop here and then we're going to check this out. 
This is all good. Um, that looks good. I have to switch that, so... That should be fine here. And then it's going to bring us right here to the end of this siding or whatever I guess you could call it. And then it's going to bring us all the way down here. Uh, so it's kind of weird. You'd think you'd be done, but you still have to continue on. Very slow crawl into the depot here. There's one scenario on Boston Sprinter where the whole thing is just like going around the, um, I believe it's Boston South Station Depot's a loop, and it is, I mean, this is 15 miles an hour. Just signal the crossing there. And it's five, five miles an hour over there in Boston, and it's, it's just ridiculous. It's almost unbearable how slow it is. I'll be honest, I get bored at, at some of these long scenarios and not just that, you, like cutting out an hour or so for just one trip is, that's a lot of time. And I have a shorter attention span, I guess. Than to just sit down here for not, not even an hour. An hour is honestly fine, but like anything over an hour is asking a lot for me. But this one's only 20 minutes. I like this one quite a lot. It's nice and short. And it's something different. That's why I'm not a big fan of like heavy freight. Um, I, I really like running the Class 66 on this. I'm not going to lie. Turn the light on because we're going to have to shut down the cab and change ends here. Really strange. I'm not even sure why. You know, you'd think it would just end here, but it does keep going. The only reason why I'm complaining is because I'm concerned about a derailment. Hopefully... That will not happen, but we'll have to see. Come to a stop here. Shut down the cab. Just going to wait to see which order they want me to do everything in. Come on, let's go. Alright. Break handle three. Okay, it's not. Wrong way, there we go. Set the DRA. Headlights to off. Tail lights on. Set the reverser to off. Master key. It's off. We'll shut off the light. Not sure if we're technically supposed to turn off the safety systems. Uh, get the flashlight on here. It's just typically quicker if you just walk around the train. This is a relatively short train though, so not a huge deal, but the doors do slow it down a little bit. Climb up here. You gotta shut the door from a really weird angle, there we go. Master keys on. Reversal, reverser neutral. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? Tail lights off. Uh, night running. Oh, marker lights only. Interesting. Forward. Set the DRA. 
and we're good to go. Oh, actually, first we want to set those junctions because it's going to yell at me for that in a second. There we go. I think this should be correct this time. All of these guys are straight. Besides that one, that would be embarrassing if we screwed up on the last one. All right, we should be good. Should be good. All right. Switch the light off here. Looking good so far. I'm really not sure what was going on last night when I tried this. It was a disaster. Three times. Derailment. Looks like we're going to make it just fine now, hopefully. There we go. Turn here, hopefully. There we go. Get another screenshot for the hell of it. All right. some brakes here there you go that's all shut down the cab real quick and then we'll be out of here uh, I believe that's neutral that's gonna be off maybe turn the tail lights on We'll see, this is going to correct me if I'm wrong. Alright, that's it. Set the DRA. Turn the reverse it off. Master key off. And then, lights off. Yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that is going to be it here for the empty evening. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.